See, and, and, and I'm telling you now, Abraham had a problem, but I got a problem with Abraham. Can I talk to the Abrahams in the house? Uh, Y'all, <laughs> uh, can, can I talk? Can I holler at you? Can I holler at you? Abe, 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 can I talk to you? I, I need to talk to you, fella. Uh, I got a problem with you. Uh, see, see, see. How is it that you put her out for good? You put her out permanently. But well, watch this. You gave her something to live on that was temporary. All right. <laughs> you made the choice to leave. <laughs> uh, but, but, but you gave her some bread and a bottle of water. Can I, can I bring it 2010? <sighs> see, see you, you chose, watch this, to allow your son and his mama to leave. And you, you allowed it to be resorted. Your fatherhood was based on child support. Be a father that's going to make your fatherhood based on child support. Or you're going to be a father that's there to support your child. Listen, if your child is only a paycheck for you, I've got to question not only your fatherhood, but your manhood. Somebody shout, get your preacher on. Ain't nobody bad like me. Because <laughs> listen, listen, you got to recognize it's not about the money. She make her own money. It's not about the check. But every now and then, can you check on your child? I just need to help somebody with your homework. See, 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 fathers, all I'm saying is, it's not just about the money, Doc. If, if, if you just go spend a little time, if every now and then you go play basketball with them, you know, because you know, watch this, I'd rather see you appear on the court than for you to have to appear at the court. Anybody got a friend? Anybody got a friend? And see, I want to give big ups to all the daddies that's been there for their children. I just want to, can we just have a praise break right there? For all the daddies that's been there, spent time with them, helped to raise them. It doesn't matter if I like your mama or not, because my obligation is to the child. Figure this will get quiet for the fellas on that one. But it's all right, it's all right, it's okay, because the truth will make us free. I'm talking about, well, she's taking out of my check every week. Well, she only had to go to court because you wouldn't pay that. Abraham gave her a bottle of water and some bread and told her to poof, be gone. What's this? No matter what, it's still your child. Yeah, you know, see, the problem is, I know the situation went down. You ain't even know her last name. I know how it was. You you, you didn't even know uh, how she really was. I, I know you was at a party and it got a little, you know, rowdy. But, 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 but what the fact of the matter is, is it doesn't matter how it happened. As long as you know it happened. And since it happened, it is your responsibility and your duty to make sure you provide for your child. And I'm just glad, I'm just glad, I'm just glad to know, like I said, that there are some fathers that know what it means to, to stand up and be a father. Because watch this, a boy can make a baby, but a man can take a baby. I said a boy can make a baby, but it takes a man to take one. Yeah. 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 Problem is, we got too many boys. 
not enough men. Wouldn't want, wouldn't want to be called a deadbeat dad. Because what that says is that as far as my child is concerned, I'm dead to them. Mm -hmm. See how quiet y'all getting? So now I'm no longer a part of their life. And then hear this, and please, by, by, by all means necessary, please, uh, don't show up at the graduation. Don't, don't, don't show up when they sign that big contract. Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't play them like that. Because when I really needed you was at my fifth birthday party. When, when I really needed you was when I was playing for City League. Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Show up talking about I knew you could do it. Yeah. That's the problem. The problem was Abraham. Then, now, Hagar has a problem. <laughs> Hagar has a problem because now uh, you're outside with some bread and a bottle of water and a child that is depending on you. Uh, what, 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 what is someone to do uh, when you are left with nothing? And have to give everything to the child that's standing there with you. Hagar has a problem. Uh, and, and, and hear this. As, as any mother would do. Hagar doesn't want the child to see how much she's hurting. So Hagar goes and puts the child under some shrubs. Gives them some shade. Makes sure that, that, that the child gets what they need. And goes off by, by herself. And Hagar starts crying and weeping. And say, Lord, I don't even want to see my child suffer. Right. Has anybody ever been there where you didn't know how you were going to make it? When you didn't know how you were going to make ends meet? You didn't know how your child was going to get what they needed? And you found yourself praying, God, if you don't help me, I don't know what I'm going to do. Y'all sitting there at the bougie. Maybe all y'all had your knees met. But I'm talking about when you ain't have nowhere to go with. You didn't have nobody to give you no loan with. You didn't have nobody to take care of you. You had to call on the name of God. And say, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. In thy withdrawal that sit for me, then where shall I go? Says. Hagar, Hagar goes uh, off by herself. It says she goes a bow shot away from the child. Uh, she goes a bow shot away from the child. And it says that as she's crying and praying, it says that God wasn't listening to the mama. But it says that God heard the boy. Somebody needs to hear me in the house. And so the angel says, Hagar, hold up. Hold up, Hagar. Don't, don't go. Don't go too far. Uh, because I came to give you some good news. And the good news is that God has heard the voice hear this of the land. I, I, I don't know who I'm helping in here. But for every tear you cry, don't worry. Because God's got an obligation. Because that's what daddies do. Daddies take care of the children. And the angel said, don't worry. Because God has heard the voice of the child. Is there anybody glad in the house that knows that God can hear the voice of the children? Anybody in here that knows that God is able to hear the voice of the children? Is there anybody in here that knows that when God hears you, when God is able to hear the voice of the Lamb, things have a way of changing around. It says, don't worry. 